Welcome to Team Fast Eddie and HPIBajaTutorials.com. Today's tutorial we're going to use the Team Fast Eddie Pro Series Shim Kit and we're going to shim out the play in the Baja front axles. This will work on either the SS or on the ready to run. I have taken the axle hub off of the uh, entire hub assembly off of the Baja in order to show you exactly what's going on here. Um, you can rebuild it while it is on the Baja, however it does make it a lot easier to remove it. What we're looking at here is the amount of play that we have in the hub assembly and the extender. And what happens is on the back side there's a C-clip and as you're driving your Baja if there's excessive play in there, it just hammers on that C-clip and they, they tend to fall off. So what we're going to do with the Team Fast Eddy Shim Kit is to minimize the amount of, of play in this unit. It's very simple to do. The first thing we're going to do is to remove the C-clip and we're going just to use a regular pair of needle nose pliers and we're going to uh, come in here and grab the, the C-clip it's kind of hard to see. See if we can get some light on there. And then just go ahead and remove the C-clip. From there, the extenders or the axle is just going to slide right out. And what we're going to do is place the shims over the shaft here to minimize the amount of, of play that, would, that we do have. Um, we're going to go ahead and open up our Team Fast Eddy shim kit. Um, included in the shim kit are 30 shims. There's 10.2 millimeter, 10.3, and 10.5. And using either just one of each size or a combination, um, you can minimize how many you're stacking and get the proper uh, proper shims for the job you're doing, whether it be the the axles or the clutch bell. So we're going to go ahead and remove the shims, and we're going to go ahead and pull out um, a couple of the thickest, a couple of the medium, and a couple of the thinner ones, and then go ahead and set them aside on our table so that we can use them as we need. Um, what we're going to go ahead and do is slide this off, and I'm going to go ahead and start with a .5, which is the thickest, and slide it right over the axle, and we're going to go ahead and put the axle back into the hub, and then put the C-clip back on. Um, putting C-clips on is either really easy or really difficult, but we're going to slide that little puppy in there, and we're going to go ahead and see if we can do this in one shot. Ah, there we go. It's back on. Now let's go ahead and check the play, and we can see that it is much better, but there still is an amount of play. And what I did on that was I used the thickest 0.5 shim. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is to add, since we still have a little play, one more of the thinnest. Um, just by looking at it, that seems to be the one to use. So we're going to go ahead and remove the C-clip. Go ahead and place another one of the thinnest shims. So now we have a 5 and we have a 2 for a total of 0.7 millimeters of shim. I'm going to go ahead and slide it back in, and we're going to go ahead and put our C-clip back on again and see how that works. Again, C-clips are difficult or easy, and they're not giving us a hard time today. So let's take a look at it now, and I can see that the is absolutely no play in there, and that the hub itself the axle within the hub is not turning freely. It's not binding, but it's not turning freely. So basically what that's telling me is that we've over shimmed it. So we're going to go ahead and take the C-clip back off. And remove the smallest shim that we just put on there. Let's stick into the axle here. So we're going to go ahead and take that off. And that shows us that all we needed on there was a .5. I'm going to go ahead and put it back on, reinsert the 
C-clip and we now have a properly shimmed front axle. Always make sure that your C-clips are on nice and tight. And again, I'll show you here that the hub spins freely. There's no binding and there's a very minimal amount of play. So that's all there is to it. Go ahead and uh, repeat the process on your second side. Sometimes they take uh, the same amount of shimming, sometimes they take different amounts of shimming. It is a, a relatively easy project, it's inexpensive to do, and it's going to save you a lot of grief and hassle in the long run by not having your front wheels pop off when they shouldn't be. Um, this tutorial is brought to you by Team Fast Eddie and HPIBajaTutorials.com. Um, all of the Team Fast Eddie products, including our shim kits, as well as our Team Fast Eddie Pro Series bearing kits, are available at all your favorite Baja retail locations. Um, if you are working on a used Baja, um, as you're shimming it, it's a great time to go ahead and check the bearings and if in fact the bearings uh, have play in them or are not turning smoothly or feel gritty that's a great time to go ahead and replace them as a routine part of your maintenance. Thanks for watching our uh, tutorial today and if you have any questions please feel free to ask them at hpibajatutorials.com we have a wonderful forum over there and some great people to help you.